Today, we'll be learning how to divide a four digit number by a one digit number using the formal method. For this lesson, you'll need a pen, a piece of paper, and your brain switched on. This method of division is also known as the bus stop method. But before we continue further, let's look at the parts of the division. The large number, in this case 3,936, is known as the dividend, and this is the amount we are going to divide. The smaller number on the outside is known as the divisor, and this is the number that we're going to divide into our dividend without remainder. If we look above the line, in this area, we can see that this is the quotient. And the quotient is going to be the answer of how many times the divisor divides into the dividend. So let's look at this number. 3,936 divided by 3. And remember, we're trying to find out how many times our divisor, in this case 3, goes into our dividend. By doing this, we look at the first number in our dividend, which is 3. So how many times does 3 go into our 3? Well, it's 1. And we write that in the area above the line, which is where the quotient will go. Once we've done that, we can cross out the first number of our dividend. Then we move along. How many times does 3? go into 9. Well, 3 goes into 9 using our times tables. 3, 6, 9. 3 times. So we write our 3 in the area where the quotient is and we cross out our 9. Then we move along again. How many times does 3 go into 3? Well, 3 goes into 3 only once. So we write our 1 in the area where the quotient is and we cross out our 3. And then finally, we've got how many times does 3 go into 6? Using our times tables, we can do 3, 6, and we know it's twice, so we write a 2 in the area where the quotient would be, and we don't need to cross out the 6 because we know we've used it. So the answer to 3,936 divided by 3 is 1,312. Let's look at a more difficult one. This one is 6,412 divided by 4. Now remember we're going to divide our dividend, which is 6,412, by a divisor. And we're going to see how many times our divisor can go into our dividend. But we're going to break the dividend down into single digits. So, let's look at how many times 4 goes into 6. Well, 4, using our 4 times table, goes into 6 once, but actually it leaves 2 left over. So, in our quotient area, we're going to write our 1 as we would. We're going to cross out our 6, and the 2 left over we are going to carry over in between our 6 digit and our 4 digit. This makes the next number 24. So now we're going to find out how many times 4 goes into 24. Using our 4 times table, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. We can see that 4 goes into 24 6 times. And we write that in our quotient area. We cross out 4. We move along. So how many times does 4 go into 1? Well 4 doesn't go into 1. 4 is a larger number than 1. So we write a 0 in our quotient area, we cross out the 1 and we carry the 1 over to our next column. Now we're going to find out what how many times 4 goes into 12. Using our 4 times table, 4, 8, 12, you can see it goes in 3 times. 
Now we don't need to cross out any more numbers because there are no more digits that we're looking at. So we now know that 6,412 divided by 4 is 1,603. Let's try one last one. Now our dividend this time is 2,432. And our divisor is 8. So remember we're going to divide our dividend by our divisor and see how many times 8 can go into 2,432. Starting at the first number, which is 2. We're going to see how many times 8 goes into 2. Well, 8 doesn't go into 2 because 2 is a smaller number than 8. So, in this case, we can put a 0 in our quotient area and cross that out 2. But we're going to carry over our 2 in between our 2 and our 4 to make the next number 24. So now we're going to see how many times 8 goes into 24. Using our 8 times table, 8, 16, 24, we know that 8 goes into 24 three times. And we write that in our quotient area. We cross out our number and we move along. We're going to see this time how many times 8 can go into 3. Well, 8 doesn't go into 3 because 3 is less than 8. So, in this case, we can put a 0 in our quotient area, cross out our 3, and then carry it over between our two digits. So now we're going to see how many times 8 goes into 32. Using our 8 times table, 8, 16, 24, 32. We know that 8 goes into 32 four times. So the answer to 2,432 divided by 8 is 304. Here's four problems for you to work out. Remember, if you can